Okay, so this is the beginning of the tutorial. We're going to show how we get a 3D AI generated mesh into scenery. And the first place we're going to do it is actually on the web, as you can expect. So I'm going to go ahead and select a fire truck since that's what we talked about. Or right click and save image to downloads. And I already have Trellis here. I need to go down here to the demo. This is all supplied in the uh, book that we're going to give you or the PDF. And yeah, this is kind of the interface that you're given. It's not very difficult. If we come in here, we go to downloads. I'm going to drag the truck onto this. It'll upload real quick. I'm going to click generate next. Uh, this takes a little bit longer. Uh, basically, what it's doing is called Gaussian splattering. It's uh, recreating the uh, point cloud data, and it's going to kind of use AI to do the three-dimensional uh, shape of the object. So it's all done. It'll play back. Uh, we need to extract the GLB. A little bit about the, the same timeline. Uh, if you do the Gaussian, it's like 50 megabytes. This is probably going to be somewhere around like 9 or 10. And uh, the GLB is kind of like GLTF. So if you've seen anything like Sketchfab or any of those other viewers, uh, it kind of just packages everything. It, it packs all the textures in. And makes it kind of like this unified mesh and texture uh, asset that you can download. So we're going to go ahead and download that. And yeah. Now that we've created our object inside of Trellis, we're ready to import that directly into scenery. So I've got a nice little shortcut here. Uh, I'm going to double click that to open the application. If it's the first time you're opening scenery, you're going to be presented with this prompt. Uh, I'm going to use sign in with Apple. You can use email. And if you've already signed up with your email, you can log in down here. So clicking that, it's going to ask for my fingerprint since I'm on Apple. Success. And uh, if this is the first time you're loading up scenery, you're going to be presented with a beginner tutorial. We're going to skip that tutorial for the sake of this one. And we're going to go directly into the Scenery Explore page. Uh, this gives you all access to all of the projects that we have on scenery. It also has all of the training creators, their different categories, like say platformer or racing. And then up top here, we have Featured. Uh, since this is a tutorial, we want to show you quickly. Uh, we're going to use Downers Grove. Um, this right here is a uh, game that doesn't have a player yet, and we're going to create this. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to click on the Remix button here. And this will open up Downers Grove and stream everything in here. So this is kind of like a nice little city that you can drive around and fits our tri fire truck really well. So the first thing that we want to do is open an asset browser down here. This is the icon, which brings up the asset browser. And this is your project. You have your assets. You have imported assets, say they're from other plugins or projects that are streamed in. In this case, we have an environment map. What we want to do is click on assets, and we're going to create our vehicle template in here. To do that, we're going to come up here to the plus add button. It's blue. We're going to open that up, and we're going to come down here to vehicle player. This will create a My 3D Scene inside of the same folder. In order to access that, you just simply need to double click. And then we're given the template project or the template scene for a vehicle. So the first thing that we need to do inside of here is actually import Firetruck into the project. And we're going to do this in the same folder that we had before. But instead of clicking Add, we're going to click Import this time. So this will bring up a prompt, and it'll just basically direct us to wherever that is, say so if it's in your downloads or if it's in your desktop documents, wherever. So I'm going to go ahead and click firetruck.glb and click open. This will give us a few folders inside of our project. We're not going to access any of these immediately because we're actually going to just replace this box with the fire truck. So inside of this, uh, we're presented with uh, two things that are very, very important. You have up here on the left, the hierarchy or scene explorer. And then on the right, you have the inspector panel. If I were to click something like the box mesh, which we're going to replace, you'll see that all of the properties come up as far as the box mesh is concerned. So what I want to do is I want to access the mesh part here. And down here, you'll see our fire truck. And then we need to change the material to also correspond with that fire truck. So we're going to go ahead and click and close the inspector. And the next thing that I want to do is turn this truck around. Back here is the camera for the vehicle, so I know that I need to be driving the other way. Clicking this rotate, we can see that we're able to rotate the vehicle, and we've got a nice little submenu down here that will shift in 90 degrees. So now the truck is rotated. 
I'm going to go ahead and move this up just a little bit so we can see it clearly. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to scale it up so it fits these axle wheels. So I'm going to kind of just gradually bring it to where maybe it'll work. And then I'm going to move it down. It looks like we're a little bit big. So we're going to do it until we see the blue that's going through the hubcap. Just quick and easy to do it this way. If I do it there, we'll see that we have the front axle result. And then the back axle actually needs to come here as well. The next thing that I want to do is actually remove the cylinder meshes because they are not needed in this example. And then we're going to go into the third person camera here and we're going to move it just a little bit. Okay, so this kind of gives us the full fire truck and what we're trying to do here. Let's go back into the scene itself. And what we want to do is we want to find the spawn points. And then we're going to click the properties here and we're going to go down to my 3D scene. Replacing that, we can hop in and we'll see that we have our fire truck. So there's no 3D modeling and there's very, very little coding, but you can quickly have a fire truck in your scene that you can drive around that either is something from your real life or it's, in this case, a drawing. So I'm going to exit out of there. I'm going to go ahead and close a couple of these things. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to click publish up here to share it with everybody. So we're presented with the publish, edit thumbnail. Uh, we're going to capture a thumbnail, actually. I think I'm just going to do maybe the police. And process the thumbnail. We can confirm. And we'll call this one police chase. Congratulations, our project has been uh, published. So likewise, you can also click share, which would bring up the share prompt and I can airdrop it or send it to my friends. But other than that, uh, this is a project that's been uh, shared with the community. And if you go back to the home here, you'll see that we have police chase here. And if we scroll down to the racing category, you'll see that we have police chase down here shared with the community. So it's kind of a full project that's been completed and shared uh, with your own model and your own fire truck. And that's as fast and easy as you can do it on Scenery. Look forward to the projects that uh, creators and yourself are creating and uh, making this community grow and grow and remix and remix. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, catch you around on the next one.